This is 1930D Lincoln scent in Mint State 67 Plus. The 1930D scent is known for its scarcity as a relatively few were minted compared to other years. The Denver Mint produced over 40 million Lincoln cents in 1930, but it is estimated that only a small fraction of those were made with exceptional quality, reaching the MS67 Plus grade. This plus graded superb gem glitters in vibrant copper orange luster with both devices and remarkably clean surfaces. No carbon spotting is seen. The 1930D is rare in MS67 Plus Red. This piece is nothing other than best possible representative of the date for the registry collector. It ended up selling for $33,600 at Heritage Auctions. Here is SMS 1964 Jefferson Nickel in SP68 condition. It comes with full steps designation. A phenomenal absolute and condition rarity worthy of inclusion in the finest Jefferson Nickel set. Satiny surfaces are silky smooth in texture and lightly toned in Georgia's champagne gold. Fully struck and simply a delight to behold. The decision to suspend the production of traditional proofs beginning in 1965 apparently prompted the meat to begin the search for a suitable replacement for those coins. Apparently because no documentation exists that details the experimentation process that eventually led to the creation of the special mint set coins of 1965 to 1967. Prior to 1993-1994, in fact, no coins were known that were associated with this presumed experimentation phase. This is 2019 W Pacific National Park first discovery quarter from America's Beautiful series. A superb gem in Mint State 67. The W mint mark on the 2019 Pacific National Park quarter indicates that it was minted at the West Point Mint, which is known for producing coins with exceptional quality. The first discovery designation signified that this coin is one of the earliest strikes from the die that's a mint. The MS67 grade is considered a high grade on the Sheldon coin grading scale, indicating a coin that is in superb condition, with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. This excellent piece was sold for $6,018.75 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Moving on with this 1943 Lincoln cent struck on 1943 Mercury dime, graded in mean state 62 by NGC, an error cent which is likely just as elusive as more famous wrong planchet error. On this piece, a nearly complete outline of liberty surrounds one cent, and the fastest X is clear above the Lincoln's ear. Most of the dime date is visible, although the three is weak. A brilliant, lustrous, and lovely error. It ended up selling for $28,750 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1953S half dollar in mid state 65 with full bell lines. This notorious strike, reared, seldom comes on market, not only because few certified examples exist, but because when collectors get hold of them, they lose letting them go. Bright and lightly frosted with gold orange patina at the left of verse and the reverse, and a smidgen of blue between liberty and in on the obverse. A single vertical abrasion at the back of the Franklin's head contributes to the grade. It was sold for $28,750 at Heritage Auctions. In 1973, as Kennedy of Dollar, triple struck, second and third strike, 35% of center. Graded as PF67 Cameo by NGC. This visually stunning mint error resulted when a properly struck proof 1973S half dollar failed to fully eject from the press and was struck two more times of center at 12 o'clock. The coin rotated only slightly between the first impression and the off center strikes, and the second and the third strikes closely overlap. Although some separation between the design elements is discernible when examined with the aid of a loop. Two full days and two crisp S mint marks are plainly evident to the unaided eye. It was sold for $10,200 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1989 Lincoln cent in MS68 red condition. 
This superb gem displays vibrant coppery luster and distraction-free surfaces. Coin is almost pristine, just slight imperfections prevent this gem from the finer grade. PCGS population is 43 cents in MS68 grade. There are only two finer specimens certified by the service. Here is 1939 Jefferson Nickel with double die reverse, graded in mean state 65 by NGC. The doubling is mostly evident on the words 5 cents. The doubling is shifted towards the southeast and can be seen with the naked eye. The word Monticello is also doubled with doubling shifted towards the east and just barely to the south. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, there are possibly 1000 to 1500 in existence in all grades combined. Most examples are probably in lower circulated grades of very fine and under. This is 1941 Lincoln Cent in PR67 red condition. The watery mirrors are almost entirely copper orange, with subtle rainbow iridescence at the right of words and reverse margins, and the eye appeal is as impressive as the preservation. The 1941 proof scents were produced to the extent of only 21,100 pieces, at a time when collectors could order their favorite denominations from the mint individually. Here is 1973 as silver Eisenhower dollar double struck, second strike on the edge. This piece represents an extremely rare striking error category, the edge strike. This particular piece was struck once normally improperly ejected, then struck while standing perpendicular to the die faces such that the dies came down on the edge of the coin. A dent over T of liberty when examined yields the impression of the area between the eagle's tail and the wing, while opposite the coin near T of Trust, the short outline of back of Eisenhower's head may be seen. It was sold for $5,175 at Stax Bowers auction. A wartime penny 1944 Lincoln sent struck on a steel planchette. While wrong planchette errors are staples for oddities enthusiasts, few such pieces have achieved widespread currency among regular series collectors. The 1944 steel cent struck a year after means one of production of coins in the metal have gained general acceptance and many high-end collectors will procure an example as fascinating complement to a set of Lincoln cents. This steel grade example shows occasional dots of sage in the fields. The strike is a touch soft as usual for coins made of steel, but the devices show only trace of friction. It was sold for $34,500 at heritage auctions. This is 1965 Roosevelt time struck on a 90% silver planchet. Enix assigned AU58 details for this cleaned and lightly circulated coin. Struck on a leftover silver planchet from 1964 and a scarce error indeed. The surfaces show minor evidence of cleaning and very brief circulation, but for all intents and purposes, this looks like a normal 1964 or earlier dime, but the date 1965 stands out to show the blunder. It was sold for $3450 at Stax Powers auction. Here is 2004 D Sacagawea dollar in mint state 69, exquisite gem lacking just one point reaching the numismatic summit. Both sides are lustrous and pristine. Strike is immaculate. It was sold for $2,926.12 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. And this is 1944 D. Lincoln Cent with repunched mint mark, highly sought after D over S variety. The undertype S is visible above the primary mint mark, identifying the FS511 variety. The FS511 is much rarer and more valuable than the other over mint mark variety of the year. The coin offered here is high-end premium gem with well-detailed design elements that show just a touch of softness on Lincoln's hair. The original red surfaces show no mentionable distractions with vibrant mint luster on both sides. Eye appeal is terrific. It was sold for $21,150 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys. For getting daily updates on rare coins, hit subscribe and bell buttons below this video. And don't forget to hit the like button. Have a nice day.